Good morning, everybody. This is the Cryptonimatron, back after a weekend off. I'm here to bring you the news stories that have come to my attention in the last 24 hours, starting with Bitcoin's mysterious inventor is now one of the world's 50th richest people. Um, according to Forbes magazine, Sakatoshi Nakamoto, whoever he is, would have been worth or is worth 19.4 billion US dollars, or he's the 44th richest person on the planet. Um, he gets his wealth from the 980,000 bitcoins that they are estimated to own. Of course, uh, there has been a lot of speculation over who Satoshi Nakamoto was, not least of all when the um, a fake Satoshi Craig Wright uh, tried to convince people that he was behind uh, a bitcoin, uh, when in fact he wasn't. In other news, Keanu Reeves says bitcoin will destroy the global elite and give power back to the people. Um, he says uh, that he believes Bitcoin is the future and will free citizens of the world for gl from gl global and economic slavery. He was shooting a promo film for his motorcycle company um, and he was asked on the, uh, uh, about cryptocurrency and he says it isn't a fad, it's the future. The people are tired of being controlled by the banks, seeing fat cat bankers get rich and at the expense of the hardworking citizens. Bitcoin is giving the power back to the people and it will destroy the oligarchs and global elite in the process. Interesting that he'd come out and say stuff like that. Obviously, as we all know, he was uh, Neo in the Matrix trilogy, uh, which is a sort of um, similar situation to what Bitcoin finds itself in at the moment, looking to overthrow the um, uh, current establishment and change the way that we do business and interact. Way to go, Neil. So VeChain um, will announce a strategic partnership with DNVGL next uh, month in January in London. They're also gonna rebrand in Singapore and that's planned for mid-January as well. There will also be a detailed economic model upon completion, another listing on an exchange this month, and a complete update and rewrite of the VeChain development plan now, the reason that um, I found this of interest is because DNV are a massive company worldwide. They had their finger in many, many pies. They were, <clears throat> excuse me, originally a classification society, which if you don't know, they um, basically like a marine register. Their name is Der Norsk Veritas, Germanischer Lloyd. So they were a Norwegian um, classification society that took over Germanischer Lloyd, which is a German uh, classification society, a smaller one, and um, now they, they form one of the three biggest in the world, along with uh, the American Bureau of Shipping and Lloyd's Register, based in London. So uh, they are massive. They're also involved in certification. They have um, many, many other businesses, as, as well as the Maritime Register. And they're also already using blockchain technology. This article is from last September where they transferred all their 90,000 certificates uh, from their uh, business assurance division to a private blockchain. So basically what this does is allows everything to be absolutely transparent. All the certificates that they issue like ISO 9001, ISO 14001, um, o um, OHSAS 18001, etc., etc. all are on their blockchain so it blocks counterfeits <clears throat> and it allows companies to check certification so fantastic uh, idea this from last september of course but important as they're already familiar with the technology so they understand fundamentally what vchain can do for their business uh, other big companies using blockchain technology we have adidas partnering up with smart track to ensure smart products that make a hot brand even hotter and i believe that this is to clamp down on counterfeit adidas products and why i found this of interest was because they are going to now put a um, nfc chip uh, on each of their products to allow people to scan with their mobile devices so you get your unique identifier to ensure that the uh, a product that you're buying for this example it's an adidas football it generates a unique identifier allowing you to know what it is if it's genuine and it also unlocks exclusive content and information so it even has more benefits you can maybe go to a website other people can't visit what you know whatever downloads a game or or or, or whatever and again i found this of interest because factum cryptocurrency 
um, are uh, offering their technology D-Lock in partnership with SmartTrack, who are the developer and the manufacturer and supplier of the RFID products that will be used in the Adidas um, Smart Cosmos uh, partnership. So they already have the sticker with the NFC inlay, which has a uh, security chip, as I explained, and can, t can contain some information about the product. So it's important these days, as there's so many counterfeits out there now, especially all coming from Asia, that they really need something where people can um, prove to themselves what they're buying is original and get rewarded for using it. So very interesting. Um, you might have remembered the Tezos ICO happened quite recently. They have, have been having quite a hard time of it recently. And there has been another uh, class action lawsuit filed in the wake of their $232 million ICO, uh, which I believe at the time was the largest ICO to date. And uh, what is happening is uh, the founders and uh, some of the... Uh, a brokerage uh, people have been indicted and named as defendants and um, the filings allege that the Tezos token sale organizers violated US security laws echoing accusations contained in the class actions previously filed and previous lawsuits um, contained allegations of security laws and investor frauds and, and, uh, and everything like that. So not a good time for Tezos. They um, looked like they were going to be a very promising ICO at the time but uh, they have uh, been derailed, arguments um, on the board of directors and between the founders and other people have caused it to collapse in on itself. Uh, another thing I noticed uh, uh, today was this beautiful um, Litecoin solid gold wallet, thanks to Charlie Lee on Twitter. He's obviously the Litecoin founder and he's got himself one and had it engraved. And I thought that I'd bring this to anybody's attention. If you're rich enough to afford $12,000 for a a Litecoin wallet or a um, Nano Ledger S, this one is in particular. It is 68 grams of gold. It has five out of five star rating from the customers that were lucky enough to buy one. And uh, you can get your own name engraved on it, as I just said. So Charlie Lee's got one. Um, I'll leave the link below. I thought it was very ostentatious and uh, interesting. I won't be buying one. I think if I had $12,000 spare, which I don't, uh, all my funds are tied up in cryptocurrency, I would probably be reinvesting it into more crypto. So a quick look at the markets today. Bitcoin slipped back a little bit from $19,000 last night. Um, everything's sort of correcting, which is healthy. We like to see that. There has been about 17, 18 billion wiped off the market cap in the last 24 hours and Bitcoin dominance fallen to 54.5%. Some of the gainers, Cardano still looking like it's uh, uh, cementing its place as predicted in the top 10 and possibly in the future even higher. Um, IOTA falling back slightly on the news that they don't have an official partnership with Microsoft, but they are working together. The big story in the top 20 is, of course, NEO starting to fulfill promise at an all-time high last night and um, showing some good growth. It stands to reason, and I mentioned this the other day, that you, you know, if you didn't have any NEO and you were looking to get into a currency, NEO is very, still very undervalued, even now at an all-time high. It is a platform for um, a, a, is a platform blockchain, so you can build dApps on the back of it, much like Ethereum, but it's much uh, more open. You can use more software, uh, programming languages for it, like uh, Python you can use, uh, not just Solidity like Ethereum. So it's... Um, Probably going to get more mass adopted in the future. The technology is better. It can process more transactions, etc. So NEO is a good thing to be involved in for a long-term hold as I have it. Um, it's no surprise that it's now starting to fulfill promise. We've seen all these other coins go up. A lot of white paper ICOs, a lot of white paper uh, tokens shooting up with absolutely no reason or um, you know a technology behind them. So it was only a matter of time. I recommended it the other day on my video. You know I hate to make predictions, but um, I, I you you know, I couldn't go wrong with that one, really. So um, shooting down the, li the list, uh, Lisk is looking impressive there. Uh, All-time high for Lisk again. NXT doing well. Einsteinium always seems to be up and around. And Electronium, I believe they've launched their web wallet and now starting to recover from the initial problems after the ICO. A reasonable price. I might have to look into mining that. I'm still mining um, Musicoin and Pearl at the moment, but I'll have to go and check 
the um, profitability of Electronium. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention while we're on the subject of NEO is gas. Gas has got a very low circulating supply of over um, 8.5 million. But you need gas to transact with NEO, much like you, you, you uh, use gas with um, Ethereum as well. So gas is required and you can only earn a little bit of gas if you hold NEO in your wallet. It's a sort of reward for staking NEO if you like. And thus gas may even be higher value than NEO in the near future. So it might be one to keep an eye on. Okay, I'll just go down to the bottom. See if anything else jumps out at me that I want to discuss. Not really. Um, so let's have a look at the gainers and losers very quickly. No surprises there really. All quite low market caps, low volumes. Um, Aeron <clears throat> doing exceptionally well. That's a blockchain for uh, aircraft certification. Uh, an interesting project. I want to do a video on it in the near future. I say that nearly about every coin that I do. Uh, My Wish, another interesting project. Low volume though. Um, just come off ICO, I think, not so long ago. My Wish is the uh, company that's trying to put, um, apply a blockchain to um, basically for wills and passing on your cryptocurrencies. Uh, you know, they obviously realize that the problem is a lot of people will pass away and uh, their loved ones or their friends or family will not be able to get access to their wallets and therefore the uh, money they've been saving up in crypto will be lost. So my wish have a um, blockchain that allows you to leave your private keys with them and that the, um, your family or your relatives can then access them after you, you pass away. Biggest losers, uh, yes, nothing surprising there again. The usual suspects up and down up and down so let's see what's recently been added and we have blockchain and uh, datum so let's quickly have a look at blockchain blockchain just off ICO I believe it's a Bulgarian ICO, if I'm not wrong. Now, what they want to do is deal with the hotel bookings and vacation rental marketplace. They don't want to apply any commissions, so making it much, much cheaper. Normally, if you use these uh, booking websites like booking.com, Agoda, there is a commission. I'm not sure how much it is. And of course, it goes to the middlemen. The hotels are charged more and the consumers charge more. So they have a very nice idea that they want to get rid of the middlemen, which is going to save us money, which I like. And they've just had their ICO, so uh, there was some um, concern that uh, they weren't a genuine ICO, but they were advised by the former president of Bulgaria, you can see there, Rosen Plevniev, I think uh, is his name. And uh, he has been responsible for the innovation ecosystem of ICT in Bulgaria, which has been proven to be among the best ecosystems in Eastern Europe. So they have a little bit of backing there, uh, which should reassure investors. And now they're on coin market cap and uh, on exchanges that will be getting traded. And the other one that came to my attention that was just off ICO was Datum. Now, Datum want to um, allow you to take ownership of your data. Now, if you know, if you sign up for any of these um, social media websites, Google+, uh, Facebook, um, they will use your data and, and resell it to third parties. Uh, so you don't really get any money from it. You get no benefits at all from it. So Datum, they want to put this all on a blockchain so you basically own your own data and if your data is sold to somebody else with your uh, permission of course then you receive a small fee for that and it lets everybody benefit rather than just one big corporation so that is datum i think datum is a very interesting project um they're like i said they're just off ico very uh, low cost at the moment, but sure, they'll probably have some traction in the future. So that's my uh, video for today. I will be, be I will be back later with an ICO review um, of TE 
uh, food, which uh, are going to apply blockchain technology to the food industry. So we know where our meats and our produce comes from. An interesting project. They're already established in Vietnam. I'll talk a little bit about them in my upcoming video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. It really helps the channel grow. And uh, as ever, this isn't financial advice. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my opinion. And um, do your own due diligence before investing any money and only invest what you can afford to lose. Catch you later.